Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, about maybe 10 days late. I could have had this video out sooner. I'm looking at you, Craft Kish. Um, I give you the sleek armor video that I've been promising and kicking around for the last, oh, I don't know, a month. But it's done. I hope you guys enjoy. And so up first, we have the clover armor. It's probably going to be the first thing you all can craft, so let's cover the clover first. For a cost of 13 clover, 6 rope, and 2 sprigs, this wet light armor can be your swimsuit. And I say swimsuit on account of getting the set bonus of moist when you clad yourself in the clover set, which grants a thirst drain reduction by 25%. Even better, each piece comes with a built-in fuller effect, which reduces hunger drain by 5%, making this armor set the best tween starter armor set for survival. When you upgrade to sleek, trickle regen is what you're rewarded with, which means you get 0.35 health every 5 seconds. Grub armor is for peeps that like digging in the dirt, and you'll need a shovel to go looking for these guys. You'll need 12 grub hide, 8 dry grass, 2 grub sludge, 2 mite fuzz, and a piece of raw weevil meat to wear this medium armor set. Each piece gives you more stamina to play with, and the set bonus gives you optimized offense, which is a little, mis which is a little misleading, which just reduces the time it takes for stamina to regenerate by 10%. Upgrading to sleek, unlocks hyper stamina which increases the rate of your stamina charge rate to 20 percent more stamina means more swings which means more peeps red ant armor is by far my favorite tier one armor set and after going everywhere and doing about damn near everything in the game i still swear by this armor set for building massive structures 11 might fuzz 14 red ant parts two crude rope two assay glands and a red ant head will get you this nifty contractor's uniform and this light armor allows you to haul an extra grass or stem on your shoulder for every piece of the set you wear for a total of eight instead of five and on top of that with the human set bonus when you wear all of the pieces you get to cosplay as a red ant and the other red ants accept you as one of their own until you come incorrect and try to steal their eggs or attack them after you upgrade to sleek your grass harvest speed is increased as well so get the chopping in a tiny little lawnmower acorn armor is a heavy tier one that's gonna have you cracking nuts with a hammer 11 crude ropes six acorn shells six clovers five mite fuzz and four saps will get you to role play as a nut and i mean that in every sense of the word just wearing one piece is going to make it more likely that the denizens of the backyard will focus on you instead of the rest of your squad with the major threat bonus but honestly i think it's an on account of the bugs seeing you as food because you are role playing as an acorn really wearing the full set will make your insane cosplay uncrackable which means that your stun gauge when blocking attacks is increased by 15 just means you can block more without being stunned or knocked down at least the sleek bonus gives you a max health which makes sense as you're turning yourself into a wiggly nutty treat you psycho Kicking off with tier 2, Ladybug Armor is pretty heavy, and if you're partial to the gameplay of the acorn stuff, I guess you'll feel the need to go around and kill ladybugs to feed your addiction to the crazy. 11 berry leathers, 9 ladybug parts, 6 flower petals, and a ladybug head will get you this set. And this set actually is a little more useful with a piece effect of block strength, which increases that block gauge by 25. Wearing the full set also grants Scarlet Embrace but gives a 50% chance to healing one health every two seconds for 20 seconds when you block an attack. Pair this with the ladybird shield and you'll be sitting all prim and proper. Making this armor sleek will also increase the amount of health received from any healing effects by 17.5%. So hello tank, acorns can get cracked and yes, I'm completely biased. Spider armor, on the other hand, is a decent medium armor DPS choice. For 12 spider chunks, 8 silk rope, 7 berry leather, and 2 spider fangs will make you be a prime candidate for a shoe to stomp on you. Each piece grants the hasted regen effect, decreasing the time you're exhausted by 5%, and rocking the full arachnid set will grant hunter's prowess, increasing stamina regen rate by 25%. Going sleek also unlocks poison damage, and this is where things get a little mathy, because Pete's my boy. Applying sleek to the head, you get 10%, 25% for the lower body, and 50% for the upper body. 
However, if you do all three and wear them, a whopping 106% poison damage bonus is yours. If you use the Mask of the Mother Demon, you'll receive 80% instead from the Spider Armor in addition to the Mask's powers. Now we got some Koi Scale Armor. Let's go swimming, fellas. Grab your shovel and dagger and watch out for the overgrown goldfish. Don't forget to bring your favorite underwater light source as well because that's where the scales are. 10 koi fish scales, 7 eel grass strands, 7 lily pad wax, 5 sunken bones, and 3 silk ropes will get you this light armor and fulfill your sword and swashbuckling fantasies. Each piece will give you a perfect block effect, extending that window by 15 milliseconds. Oh boy! Wearing the full set gives you dazzling riposte, which if you perfectly block attacks, the aggressor's defense is decreased by 20% for about 10 seconds. Polishing the scales to sleek grants parry stun, which builds upon the perfect block mechanic, increasing the player's attack stuns by one for 10 seconds. If the pawn scares you, and you get a little claustrophobic, let's go for something in the sky, hunting some bees. 13 bee fuzz, 10 berry leather, 7 silk rope, and a stinger gets you this long range specialized light armor. Each piece gives you bow stun, which is a 20% chance to inflict a 3 second stun. This includes crossbows as well. The full set bonus gives you pollen shot, which comes with a 25% chance to release pollen that deals 5 stun, making this set sleek grants slow shot. 50% chance to slow your target by 20% for 5 seconds. If I'm being honest, I used this armor for a very long time without even the sleek bonuses. In my opinion, it's a pretty decent fire support armor set. Now, here comes a set that I was really disappointed with. The Black Ant Armor. Can you cosplay as a black ant? Nope, but let's see what you can do. 14 black ant parts, 11 bee fuzz, 3 black ant mandibles, 2 silk rope, and 1 black ant head and gets you this full medium set. Each piece grants a 50% chance to increase the chance to land a critical hit by 1% after blocking attack for 15 seconds. Now, if any of y'all are math smart, break that down Barney style for me, will ya? Because I think I can taste aneurysm thinking about what I just said, let alone wrote. I'll just say it makes you crit very well if you like the block. The set bonus is Pincushion, which makes me think of ZZ Top, by the way, and I guess it turns you into a voodoo doll, because it reflects 50% of the damage taken back to your enemies. Polishing, polishing this little Bushido blade looking armor, all sleek, gives you crit hyper stamina, which gives 50% chance to increase stamina regen by 20%. Alright, where tier 1 armors had 4 full sets and tier 2 Tier 2 had 5, Tier 3 has 7 armor sets. So let's get strapping, Slappy. Roly-poly armor. Assume the position of the potato bug. 12 pupa leather, 11 lint rope, 9 roly-poly shells, 10 roly-poly parts gets you this veritable heavy tank armor set. Each piece affects a block stun, which you increase your foe's stun gauge by 3 by blocking their attacks. The set bonus gives you taunting gaze, basically increasing the chances that the bugs want to eat your face by 50%. Waxing this armor all sleek like gets you better blocking strength up to 25 points on the gauge per armor piece. All in all, a decent tanky distraction for your enemies. Desperado's everywhere needs a set of antlion armor. <clears throat> 13 antlion parts, 3 bee fuzz, 3 antlion pinchers, 5 silk rope, and 1 boiling gland gets this western themed medium armor on your body. Each piece gives you sizzle protection, allowing you to withstand the heat in the sandbox, harvest charcoal, and lets you take a few hits from the ladybug larva. Getting all three worn for the set bonus gives quick draw, which I am literally two days old knowing this and what it does fully. In addition to increasing bow and crossbow reload speed by 40%, it also reduces melee damage by 90% for three seconds for three seconds after reloading. Upgrading in sleek allows your thirst strain to decrease. 5% slower, rounding out the western feel of gunslinger types armor set. Black Ox armor is a medium armor that can give us the feeling that you're cosplaying as a Skyrim player. 9 Black Ox parts, 6 lint ropes, 5 dust mite fuzz, and 2 Black Ox horns will craft this set and give you overbearing for each piece, which allows you to perform a charge attack, and that attack has a 33% chance of to lower the damage of enemy attacks by 30, by 20% for 15 seconds which meshes well with the full set bonus of Stunning Charger. Increasing the effect of the stun by 25 and polishing Dem Horns gives Quick Charge, which does exactly what it says, 12% faster charge. The next set has a Disappointed, just as the Black Ant armor did, as it's the Fire Ant armor. 
No cosplay, but it definitely ramps up the deeps. 14 fire ant parts, 6 lint rope, 4 dust mite fuzz, and a fire ant head gets you this toxic medium armor. Each piece rocks the corrosion effect, granting melee attacks a 10% chance to debuff the enemy with acid, causing them to take 15% more damage for 10 seconds. And wearing all three of this set gives the bonus acidic splash, with the melee attack having another 10% chance to straight up launch an additional splash that will deal 25 extra damage. This thing can hit targets from any distance and straight up ignores enemy defense and all resistances. Going sleek increases damage to player dealt acid based attacks by 10%. There is an upgrade to the spider armor and it's the widow armor. In my opinion black widows are tougher than the brew mother as this lonely arachnid has no weaknesses. Just a note, you'll need to kill enough of these black widows to get super spider venom. Three of them total for the armor set and an additional four to craft the dagger which makes harvesting pond moss way easier. In addition to the venom, you'll need six black widow fangs, eight rust, five pond moss, and 11 lint ropes to craft this little toxic set. Each piece comes with built-in poison damage, much like the sleek effects of the tier two spider armor, and the set bonus comes with death's impetus, meaning after you kill, you increase your movement speed by 20%. Going slip gives parry poison, meaning performing a perfect block has a 20% chance to poison targets dealing 15 damage every th 3 seconds for 15 seconds. Stacked with the peace bonuses, this can get real deadly real quick. This next set I call the Mothman Armor, and it's by far my favorite armor to use for ranged combat. 12 moth, moth fuzz, 10 lint rope, 4 pond moss, 5 pupa leather, and 2 moth scales gets you this Arabian themed light armor set. Each piece comes with a ranged cut effect basically bleed uh, for 30% chance, dealing 20% dam damage a second for 5 seconds. Wearing the full set grants wind run, which means ranged attacks have a 25% chance to increase movement speed by 20% for 10 seconds, and going sleek gets jump start. Ranged attacks have a 5% chance to refund 15 stamina. It bears mentioning that this also includes the 3 staves in the game, so go get your wizard on. Last but certainly not least, the assassin's armor. You gotta kill the mantis for this set multiple times, but I think it's worth it and here's why. Gathering 10 pond moss, 10 pupil leather, 10 lint rope, 6 mantis chunks, and 2 mantis claws, along with a mantis head, gets you psycho gets you the psychopathic bug's light armor. Each piece gives you the per effect of cut man, basically 50% chance to inflict bleed. Wearing the full set gives critical chain, which means you crit once and it'll give you a 2% 5 or 2.5% chance to hit for another critical within 10 seconds. Keep those swings coming. Making this a sleek set upgrades you with crit stun, so all those crits you're going to be doing with this has a 30% chance to deal 25 stun. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've been playing Sons of the Forest a little bit too much and uh, put this thing off, and I decided to finally put it out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you like i could probably put together the odds and ends armor you know like the termite armor the pupa hat the brood mother mask um there's a lot more to the game and you can actually synergize a lot of these things together and definitely come up with a play style all year round. but having said that i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there guys and i will see you guys next time take it easy